The recent U.S. presidential election has some interesting features. Other than what is generally noted, the largest number of votes that uh, any presidential candidate has ever received, the largest number of votes that a sitting president or an outgoing president might have received, the so-called blue wall and the reconstruction of the blue wall, and many other features that people are discussing, uh, other than, of course, um, the challenges that are being, that are being uh, proposed or planned or, or attempted by the outgoing president. But what is of special interest to, to many people in India is the, the role of the overseas Indian, the role of Indian Americans, as it were, assumed for a long time to be in one direction alone. But as the election results have shown, it's been very comfortably spread and a huge number of American Indians have not only voted for President-elect Joe Biden and of course his, his Vice President candidate uh, Kamala Harris, but also that in the initial appointments that are being announced, many people of Indian origin have uh, found place. And I think that's uh, been described by many people as the coming of age of the Indian American voter in public life in the United States. I have a special uh, interest in Indian Americans who have contributed uh, very, very uh, uh, generously, uh, both intellectually as well as, uh, I believe, uh, financially, uh, to the effort of electing uh, President Joe Biden. And uh, Dr. Frank Islam plays a very prominent role. He does, in fact, play a prominent role in uh, any number, any number of uh, uh, charitable effort. Uh, both related to education and to health and of course to, to good governance. And now I see that uh, he has participated very actively in the election process of President-elect Joe Biden. And I do hope that in the coming years, in the four years of the new administration, he will make a major contribution um, in one way or the other that his contribution will not only uh, work towards uh, the, the welfare of American society and American government, but also for bringing India and America closer. There is a challenge, uh, in a sense, for India. And the challenge for, for India is that the new administration will lay out the plans of a new foreign policy. That foreign policy must have an important place for India. And that's what one hopes. But I do understand that the foreign policy will, may have some dimensions that some people in India are uncomfortable with. Uh, and some of those principled positions that the United States takes uh, going away from the, uh, the, the, the manner in which the previous president, the outgoing president, President Trump, handled those affairs. Some people might think it's going to be somewhat disappointing for India. But I think that India must take it in its stride that there is a genuine goodwill of the Democratic Party towards India, that we have a very long-lasting relationship, and that any glitches or any hesitations that there may, may be for uh, a host of domestic reasons or uh, reasons of perceptions on international policy, India must work very closely together with the new president to find a win-win situation for both countries. We have a lot in common, we have a lot of uh, uh, to share in terms of our expected and aspired destiny and I do believe that people like Dr. Frank Islam will play a very major role in ensuring that that happens. I wish America well, I wish the new administration well.